Hey. What's on your mind? Oh, other than the war, I never strayed too far from where you found me. Farming, mostly. I was never much for cities. Never learned to trade. In my younger days, I thought I was gonna go preach the word of Aethys. Just in our temple there. My parents encouraged it. I made so much trouble for them growing up. They used to say it'd be best if I got in good with the God of Redemption. Of course, us blowing him up probably didn't help my chances there. But if anybody'd forgive you for blowing him up, it'd be Aethys. They, uh, <laughs> they did. It was strange timing, because we just won the war. They celebrated when I came home. There was music and dancing. Trumbull used half his grain making this big honey cake. I still dream about that cake. Like having the best lover of your life, but only for one night. And they were all sorry to hear about my brother. It took a while for word of the purges to reach us. Aethasians being murdered in the streets. Cold morn and the like. No way would they let something like that happen in Gilded Vale. That's what they all said. But the weeks went by and the purges spread. Pretty soon they weren't so sure my brother fought for Deerwood. And they weren't so sure I did. Caught me by surprise after all the celebrating. <laughs> Should have seen it coming after the tailor said he was going to fit me for some new clothes, but then all he wanted was my neck measurement. Nah, not that last part. But you had to think about it. Says a lot about the place I've been calling home all these years. They, uh... <laughs> Took a while, but the weeks caught me by surprise after all the celebrating. <laughs> it makes two of us. If you're looking to find religion, maybe you want to start with a god that hasn't been burned to dust, but I won't stop you. Aethys, he was a young man with a silver crown. He carried a candle around with him. Sounds like I'm giving a bad eulogy here. In my way. I don't suppose he expects me to show up at his temple these days. Not much left to do for him other than keep his memory alive and keep hoping that he's just been playing a joke on all of us these past 15 years.
raised that way. My family's been Aothasian going way back. I suppose it wasn't much of a choice at first. Don't know for sure why my family started worshipping him. Probably because of Gon looking after folks like us. Mm-mm. There was something I genuinely liked about Aethys. Always. Like he understood people better than the other gods. Knew all our flaws and weaknesses and accepted us for that. Folks are at their worst when they're afraid. A god like Aethys, he made you realize there was nothing to fear. Made you a better person. Of course, he goes away for a few years and look what happens. was his actions. Not when he started his rebellion, and not even when he took over Raid Ceres. It was when he sent his armies into Deerwood. You sure you don't want to talk about something more pleasant, like the War of Black Trees or the Legacy or something?
What's on your mind? Well, I'm sure my parents are still wondering the same thing. The Aeothasian purges were like this madness had come over the town, like a disease. Seems like when you see something like that, your instinct is to wait for it to pass, even when you know it probably won't. The family whose farm I worked on, they had a little hollowborn girl. And they heard the Animancers had this cure, the salvation it was called. 